Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode that aired last night, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, last night's episode was the Icicle episode, and we got some awesome stuff. This episode was extremely solid. It set up a new villain rather effectively, it brought back an old ally, and it was all presented in a greatly frosty way. So, throughout this episode there was obviously tons of ice and snow and freezing puns throughout which was very enjoyable. So we get introduced to Caitlyn's father and that's the main storyline of the episode and it really works. I really enjoyed this part and as you guys know, Caitlyn is my favourite character on The Flash barring Barry Allen obviously and so seeing that she had a whole episode to herself, that was just amazing and the fact that it really worked and so in the episode, Caitlyn's father, he returns and essentially tries to explain what has happened, why he's been able to survive for 20 years in this quarantine state. And so Cisco throughout the episode becomes a bit sort of skeptical and he begins to detect and he goes back to where he was stationed for those 20 years and it turns out later in the episode he was icicle the whole time and he was creating skin cells to look like a human and that's why beneath him you can see that he has this very icy looking skin and it's totally all over him like the comic book character and if you strip away the fabricated skin that he has he is going to be fully iced and so in this episode they made this villain he's gonna come back obviously I'm really looking forward to that and essentially what they teased was that Caitlin's father is still beneath there but in the episode he refers to Victor Freeze, Lois Lincoln and also Harrison Wells so those are three major comic book characters Obviously, we know Harrison Wells, that being Eobard Thorne, so he has that link. Potentially, he gave Caitlyn's father that link because he definitely knows in the future he becomes Ice Cool. Maybe he was setting it all up and he wanted to have that sort of connection to Star Labs. And I feel like that was definitely written in on purpose in order to create that sort of idea that maybe he will be working with the Reverse Flash whenever he returns. And Victor Freeze is referenced, who is Mr. Freeze in the comics, and he is obviously a major Batman villain. I'm sure most of you guys know who he is, no need to explain. But his wife, Nora Freeze, is actually in the crossover, played by Stephen O'Mell's wife. So I think that's going to be linking to how Caitlyn's gonna factor into this crossover because if Caitlyn finds out that that person is linked to Victor Freeze she's going to try and get more answers as to Victor Freeze because he has links to her dad and her dad's obviously missing by the end of this episode so that's a big crossover teaser really loved that part of the episode and so also what happens is later obviously like I mentioned he's revealed as Icicle and Killer Frost returns and wow, I'm so happy she's returning. It gives Caitlyn more to do. I've loved Killer Frost since her debut back in season two, even if it wasn't our Caitlyn. I think Danielle plays Killer Frost so well and this changed version of Killer Frost is really intriguing with her obviously being able to be good and she's able to control that side of her. And so essentially her origins are revealed in this episode because Caitlyn when she was younger had the ALS gene and her father after testing on himself tested it on Caitlyn in order to try and stop her dying early because of ALS and so that's how Killer Frost was created and so the ending reveals that Killer Frost and Caitlyn can now talk to each other. It wasn't DeVoe's other power in taking away her powers, it was that she had some sort of mind block inside of her, taking away that Killer Frost ability, but she's still like fully inside her body, and now she's able to use it. That is all the sort of Killer Frost, Caitlyn, Icicle part of the story that I want to talk about. I thought it worked really, really well. I'm really looking forward to what happens next with that lot. Also in this episode, I wanted to mention there was two Zoom references. There was one talking about Thorn and Zolomon, and also one with the Zoom coffee at the start of the episode. And I think the fact that they're bringing back these references 
due to the fact we know he's going to be popping up in the 100th episode is just teasing those people that potentially don't know but also teasing us who do know that Zoom's returning in the 100th episode and that just really excites me because as you know Zoom is my favourite villain from The Flash. So moving on to Cicada, so Cicada in this episode he has a really awesome opening scene with this metahuman and he ends up killing her but he gets damaged and he gets attacked and he's wounded for the whole episode and it's revealed that as we've seen him previously getting stronger and stronger behind the scenes like he's not in the face of us like the thinker was very early on in the season he's sort of building up and becoming this more dangerous version of cicada yes they're all looking for cicada that's a main part of the story but he is going he hasn't technically fought them more than once and next episode he is going to fight team flash and i'll break that trailer down later today so it's revealed in the episode that sally the star lab satellite did hit cicada with that that dagger shape being inside the satellite and so it was also revealed and I found this very interesting that if you go back and listen carefully they say that two twins who lost their father due to the satellite incident and along with a girl who got hit by the satellite so this is a dark matter satellite cicada got powers these other people got powers presumably and we don't know where they are so I'm guessing this is a reference to the Tornado Twins, so if the Tornado Twins turn up, that would be incredible. I think that's a teaser. Obviously, it's just a theory right now, but I think it stood out. Like, they wrote it on purpose, so I don't see why it couldn't be a Tornado Twins sort of reference. Maybe there's going to be new speedsters in terms of a different version of the Tornado Twins. But the only thing left to talk about is the Cecile and Ralph part of the story, as well as the Nora, Sherlock, and Iris part, which I really talked about. They are essentially finding that satellite, and it's mainly to do with Cicada and their detection. And so Nora and Iris become closer as the episode goes on, which is very exciting to see. But Cecile and Ralph, I personally didn't care for this part of the episode i felt like it was kind of forced like that's probably one of the only parts of the season that i felt like it's kind of forced like a lot of season four was so you know i'm not gonna put the episode down on that i still think this is a five star episode i just wasn't too into those scenes so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment also share this video with your friends because youtube is pretty screwed up right now and if we can get as many people watching these flash reviews, it would mean the world to me. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make us strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shark creep.